Hello, my name is Henry Emfrey, and this is a Play Canvas game development tutorial. This tutorial was made to show you how to animate a character in Play Canvas and to give a character the appearance of walking whenever we uh, press our arrow keys. Um, in the last tutorial, uh, it, which is in the link below, we actually made our character in a program called Autodesk Character Generator. And then we rigged the character and attached animations to it in a program in an online program called Mixamo. And in Mixamo, we attached two animations to our character. We attached the idle animation and we attached the walk animation. And then we uh, put those animations inside of this folder here. So um, last time we. Uh, we made this uh, Henry character, and we made this idle, uh, idle animation, and then we also made this uh, walking animation here. And um, I've changed the names to um, idle and walking just to make the um, the names a little simpler. Uh, in the last tutorial, they were named some uh, a little slightly different, but in this tutorial, they're uh, named idle and walking. So, so. In this tutorial, the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go to this uh, left side over here, and I want to get rid of this plane right here. Um, so just go ahead, and delete this plane, and then uh, delete the box. Because, uh, like I said, I, um, I just like to focus on just one thing. Uh, uh, I don't want to. Um, we're, this is an animation tutorial, so um, I just want to focus uh, strictly on that and uh, and and not worry about anything else, just to make things a little more clear. So uh, after deleting the uh, the the box and the plane, the next thing that we do is go back into our folder and we uh, select uh, our um, main character, this this Henry character right here. Select that. I press control and select that and next we uh, select our animation uh, we select this idle animation and we select this uh, walking animation so uh, while you have the control button uh, held down um, go ahead and drag these three entities into our assets folder And then there should, uh, if that's working, there should be a little uh, indicator indicator marker over here that's letting you know that it's loading. Okay, so um, when it's all done, uh, you'll see that uh, we have our uh, F Henry FBX, um, and then it has converted to a Henry JSON folder, and it has converted into um, this uh, animation folder right here, and then we also have our um, our uh, idle animation. Okay, this that's this is the character, and then we have our animation. We have uh, this uh, idle X FBX. Then we have this idle JSON folder, and then we have this uh, this uh, this other folder which is our animation. Same thing with walking. This is the uh, this is the FBX folder. This is the uh, the converted uh, version. And then we have uh, this um, walking. Uh, this is will be our animation. So, if that was successful, the next thing that we need to do is drag our main character into the scene right here. Just uh, drop and drag. Oh, I I, I scrolled up too uh, too far. So let me scroll back a little bit. Um, so. There is our character in the scene. Now, uh, now we go to the right here on this uh, right side, and this is our characteristics panel. Um, every object that you have in this game is going to have its own characteristics panel, and this is the characteristics panel for the uh, for our main character. So the next thing that we're going to do is uh, add animations to our uh, main character. We're going to add these animations that we also dragged in to our main character using this uh, characteristics panel right here. To, uh, in order to add the animations on, 
first we uh, click add components click animations and then in this uh, add animations box we click click that and then we go back to our assets of folder and then select the animation that we want to uh, want to add uh, you know there could be a lot of animations in this uh, assets uh, panel but for now uh, but we're going to put in the animations that we built so um, the first one we're going to uh, choose is this uh, idle animation so click that and you notice uh, when we click that uh, if you uh, zoom in closely you, you notice that our character is kind of breezing a little bit uh, so that means our uh, pe uh, our animation imported correctly and it's working the way it's supposed to work so now that that was successful we'll add in our second animation so you just uh, repeat the process you, you come to this uh, uh, panel over here this characteristics panel click on add, add animation you'll get this uh, this um, uh, assets folder uh, uh, and you just come over here and select uh, our second animation which, uh, which is walking JSON And then you'll notice that uh, since this was successful, you notice that uh, our um, characters now are walking. So that means everything I imported uh, um, the way it's supposed to work. And you'll see that uh, that it imported in this uh, in this characteristics panel as well. And that's the way you do all your animations. If you want to add some more uh, animations, jumping. Uh, uh, shooting, uh, uh, sh at least the act of shooting. Uh, uh, just uh, repeat this process over and over again. Okay, so now that that's successful, uh, we're going to try to um, put it in so that we can control uh, our animations uh, using the uh, arrow keys. So click on Add Components, click on Scripts. At the bottom here, you'll see a part um, that says uh, add scripts click on that and then there will be this uh, this um, work this thing that says uh, new scripts click on that and then in the middle you'll see uh, um, this uh, box here in which you're gonna name the scripts we're gonna name the script um, walking dot js then uh, press enter after you get done with that then you have this uh, loading marker here uh, just uh, click on Henry to uh, you know re reboot the character and then when you scroll down uh, you'll see that our, our walking our script has already uh, automatically been added to this uh, to this uh, the script panel down here. So next, n now that all this stuff is at attached to uh, in the characteristic panel and it's attached to our character, now we want to uh, edit our script. Uh, by the way, this is a uh, this uh, J uh, walking .js. This JS st uh, st uh, stands for JavaScript. Now, we're, so we're going to open our editor. Right click on walking.js uh, and then click on edit. So now we're inside of our uh, code editor. And um, the, the first thing that I would like to do is uh, just go ahead and delete what's uh, already inside here because we're going to put in our own code. And then I'm going to go ahead and just paste in this code right here. And this code is just uh, some code that I worked with earlier. Uh, so at this point, go ahead and um, stop the video and copy this code down and copy it all for verbatim because uh, if anything is, um, if there are any errors in this code when you uh, type it out yourself, uh, if anything's uh, not capitalized or whatever, JavaScript would not let you your program run correctly. So go ahead and copy everything that I have here verbatim and just pause the video. So when you're done, uh, like I said, when you're done copying this uh, code, just uh, 
uh, on the left, uh, just uh, find this uh, panel that says walking, uh, right click, and then click uh, save. And then after that, uh, click on, go back to our uh, editor. Okay, and uh, back inside of our editor, and uh, making sure that we have a light and camera, you know, that this is automatically put in there uh, before we even uh, start this tutorial. The, that's just something we didn't delete, but uh, so but still make sure those things are there. And then on its right side, you see this uh, triangular button. This triangular button is the launcher. It's the game launcher to test your game out. So click on that. Okay, so now uh, inside our scene we have our character. And now you'll see that if I press the up key, he starts walking. Yay, it worked. And same thing would happen if I press the left key. Yay, that worked too. And if I press the down key, same thing. And if I press the right key, same thing. And that's exactly what we wanted in this tutorial. We wanted to uh, create a walk animation. And that's it. Uh, thanks. Go try this out. And thanks.